Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video and another milestone. Story time, before we really get into this video. So, like I've said multiple times on this channel, I always record these about eight days prior to the upload, especially consistently now being that every single day, as far as the gaming content goes, is a different type of video. Each week, on a specific day, it's always the same video. And I made that very consistent. I'm still trying to find a way to make that work for the live things, since I have a few different ideas thrown about. I just don't know how I'm going to consistently do that one. Stay tuned for that for later on. For today, though, the reason I bring that up is because eight days prior As I said, I record. Well, when the upload actually happens, it's like a roll of a dice on whether it works out or not. When I recorded my 300 sub milestone video, it uploaded, when it finally got uploaded, was literally the day before we hit 400 subs. Right now, as I'm recording this, I have the live count in front of me. It is saying 417 subs. And hopefully, by the time this goes up, I have a little bit of time to collect my thoughts and be able to prep for 500, because that will actually allow me to finally do the Chubby Bunny Challenge with Amber. For 500. I do have something in mind for 1k. Stay tuned for that, for when we hit it, because at this rate we might not take too long. <laughs> but regardless, this channel, the fact that we've passed 400 subs is... I say this every time and I'm never gonna stop. Mind-blowing to me. I won't stop saying this when we hit 1,000. I won't stop saying it if we hit 10k, I won't stop saying it if we hit 100k, or anything past that. Because I'm always blown away by the amount of support that this channel gets. Especially since it was, it started as a run-of-the-mill, um, for whatever reason, just throw it out there kind of thing. Now, I know this was like a compilation of different phrases and it might not make sense, but the idea of me saying that is basically that originally, when I first started up this channel, I never expected to get more than the subs up from the people who actually were s featured on this channel. And I'll even say this. The people who were featured on this channel, not all of them are still subbed to the channel. From what my sources have told me. Um, but I digress. The fact that we are at 400 subs literally the day after the upload for 300 goes up tells me that I'm doing a really good job. Now, as I said a couple of days ago, I have removed some stuff to be able to redo it some of them being some of the stuff you see back here, some of it hasn't been removed yet, and I might, I might not, I don't know. However, the reason for this is quality. And I've talked about quality versus quantity before. In my mind, I combine both. Because ever since my channel to me, in my eyes, started actually seeming like it had meaning, I took it way more seriously. And ever since I started doing that, support shot, just, it shot up. I didn't even finish that the first time. I meant to say shot, and I said shat, wait, no, S-H-A, pause. <laughs> anyway, I digress. Progression in this video just rocketed and it's getting more publicity because of the, the ever since I took the channel more seriously. And I can give I can actually give a direct date. 
September 19th, 2021 is when I really started to take this channel a lot more seriously. Sorry, September 16th. It took a few days for this, the actual progression to hit in, but once it did, I was like, wow. I treated this channel, I started treating this channel like a job. Even if it's not one, as of this recording, I still treated it like one and treat it like one and the amount of support that came for, uh, confronted me from it, it, it motivates me to do it more. It motivates me to not only treat this channel like it's a company or like kind of like a TV channel or like a show on television, which would make a lot of sense, but it also encourages me to reach out to all of you like I have been recently and go, what would you guys like to see outside of what I already do? What gives you nostalgia overall? And what should I add to the channel to make it better? I'm not gonna remove anything because the stuff that's on the channel, the type of content that's already on here, I really think matches me as a creator very well anyway. But the add-on stuff, like I already have ideas for a few things, and I'm giving I after seeing the amount of progress that has been coming as of late, I am getting no nothing is coming to my mind saying don't do that. Quite the reverse, actually. In my mind recently, ever since the progress has been at, adding on more and more. I have been getting encouragement in my mind and from real life individuals to actually like do everything that I I'm thinking of doing. For example, something I haven't started yet. Pardon, my throat's getting a bit dry, but something I haven't started yet that I plan on doing. I, I, I have different circumstances on here. This is different ideas for nostalgic items rather than just nostalgic games like this channel kind of started out as. I also want to implement, like I do history talk. I implemented that recently because of the same factor and I I've already made four episodes, and personally, as of this recording, personally, I already love it, and I do think it was a good idea. It shoots back to way in the past, even. Sometimes not as far as other times. But regardless, how the past impacts the now is very important when it comes to nostalgia. Hence that series. And yes, it's kind of like a vlog, so you just see basically this as a thumbnail, Maybe making it look not as professional as like the gaming stuff. I have I have a lot of work to do on that front. Plus, keep in mind it also just is me and Amber running this channel right now, with Amber being a moderator and D9 being a moderator. But outside of that, that's about it. Basically, every editing, every piece of editing, everything that's not managed, like management type thing. All of that is me. I'm my own editor. Amber helps me manage some things, which is very nice. It's very nice to have someone to help me organize. Help me manage this plat this particular channel for its content. To help me schedule. The reason that I... She's the one who suggested to me in the first place, do it seven days. Do a seven-day schedule where every day is something different. She didn't say those exact words, but that was definitely what she implied when it was brought up. And I started doing that, and it's helped the channel flow in organization so much smoother. I could keep track of when something was going to be up a lot easier. I can make sure that I get record. It helps me also remember exactly when I need to record something. And if I want a break, just record multiple things so I have that time, which I already do. 
I already did beforehand, but now that I have, like, a daily schedule, like later on today, you're going to see God of War. A week, in a week from now, the exact same day, next week, you'll see God of War. Tomorrow, Zelda. Same, same concept. And this is thanks to that. Thanks to the management that was presented for it. And honestly, without the amount of support that has been given to this channel in the first place that I was talking about originally, the, the 417 of you, as of this recording, maybe there will be more or less by the time this gets uploaded. I don't know. But if it wasn't for all of you, let's put it that way, who have supported this channel, I would not have the mindset to take it that seriously. Amber probably wouldn't be there to manage the channel because I wouldn't be taking the channel as seriously as I do now. She run, even though I own the channel, she basically runs it with me. It's actually to the point where she has offered to, at times, when I'm utterly tired, to do some vlogging for me. I think, I, I wouldn't mind that. I honestly wouldn't. This is something that she, as of this recording, she said to me last night. I didn't end up doing it. This was supposed to be recorded last the night before it's actually being recorded, but... I was just way too tired. I'm surprised. From what I understand, it was never t done. Which, she was also probably just tired herself. It did kind of seem like it, so that makes sense. But, if she started doing that, I'd welcome it. She is the one who's, she is this channel's manager. Or she does manage the scheduling for when this train stops by different locations. However, if she started vlogging some stuff on here, as long as it stayed f consistent with the scheduling, I would not mind. Not in the slightest. It, this channel, as much as I'm the conductor, someone has to be the engineer. <laughs> you can't run a train without at least a conductor, an engineer, and a manager. She's the manager. I'm the conductor, still have to find an engineer, and when it comes to businesses, you always need accountants and other certain things, but that's a topic for a different day. The passengers are another aspect of it. This train is ours to ride, and the more passengers we get, the more motivated those of us who actually work on this nostalgia train become. And it's gratitude, the gratitude that comes out of all of us who run this thing grows with each rising number. And that will never change. And if with any individual who doesn't show that gratitude, probably won't end up staying on the train for very long, but I have not come across a single individual who does not show that gratitude who is on this train right now, as far as I know. When it comes to the train workers, when it comes to the passengers, well, that's on you. That's up to you guys. Whether you guys show gratitude to this, how this train works or not, it's entirely up to you. This train has stopped by history. It has stopped by nostalgic games, and we do plan on stopping by other nostalgic things. <sighs> but, I digress. This train will always run. It's never going to die down. And it's something that I'm very much looking forward to as these numbers rise, as we gain more passengers, and as the nostalgia flows through our veins and minds in a more optimistic manner. But, for right now, as the train leaves, this conductor is going to leave this video here with so much gratitude towards you guys, you don't even know. Thank you guys once again for 400 subs. By the time you see this, if we have already surpassed it, I'm probably working on 500 subs. If not, 
Well, once we hit 500, I'll definitely be working on that. We'll see what happens. One way or the other, thanks again, guys. Um, I'm going to get back on this train so we can head off, so my manager doesn't hear all of me. For, I'm just kidding. Amber wouldn't do that. Um, but look forward to more content on this channel in regards to what already falls on this channel, and expect more stuff that might end up tickle historic bones, whether it's deja vu or nostalgia at its core. Definitely look forward to that, because we got a lot more coming through with ideas flowing like a company itself. Thanks again for 400 subs, guys, and I'm really looking forward to what we all have to share in the future. I'll see you later, guys.